if you grew up in the 1960s and even into the 1970s, you're probably familiar with this. Meet George Jetson. His boy, Elroy. Daughter, Judy. Jane, his boy. And it went on and on. All that, well, George was riding around in his spaceship, dropping the kids off at school, dropping the wife off at the mall, and going to work at Spacely Sprockets, where he worked. Now, this show came on in 1962, September of 1962, and uh, it was supposed to show what the world would look like in 100 years. So we're projecting now to 2062. And uh, and it was based uh, on on just, you know, the thinking of what the world was going to be like. But uh, in in the course of the show, they revealed that George, the the principal of the show, the father of this family, was born July 31st, 2022, which would have been yesterday. So by the time they got to 2062, he would have been 40 years old, which is about you know the time a guy has teenage kids and and all that. And uh, so that's that's why it's 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 in the news now. That and if if you remember the show, I mean it's it's really one of the things we have that is in pop culture that showed what the future was supposed to look like. And uh, they, in the Smithsonian Magazine put out a story on this. They said it's the single most important piece of 20th century futurism. And they had, now they, one of the things that they, they looked at in, in how this show holds up, again, it, it came out in 1962. So it's now, the, sh- the debut of the show is 60 years old. So think about projections of the future in 1962 to what it's like today and it's really not all that different they have video chatting you see when when george calls from work and says he's going to be late and talks to his wife to jane he's talking on what we would now call facetime uh but you know they say look skype came in in the early 2000s uh we've had zoom with uh especially since the start of the pandemic facetime started in 2010 so they were right on that uh when the house needs to be clean the house is cleaned by a robot named rosie well we have the rombom vacuum cleaner or the romba i guess it's called it's it's a vacuum cleaner that goes on its own uh you see elroy in school with a wrist device in the back of the room watching the Flintstones cartoons on on his wrist. Well, Apple Watch says that they're going to have a video on the watches very, very soon. Um, You you see uh, a machine that comes out and automatically combs the hair and brushes George's teeth. Well, you know, we have electric toothbrushes. Maybe that's not the same. Uh, They get around by jetpacks. If you remember the first Super Bowl you saw at the halftime show, uh, these guys got up up in the air in jetpacks. Well, that didn't really come into existence. But we're, we're... Having the beginnings of self-driving cars, that's that's coming. Do we have a flying car yet? Well, not quite, but still some people do commute. Like if they live on Long Island and they're very, very wealthy, they commute to work in Manhattan in a helicopter. If, if you watch Succession, that's kind of how they move around. So it's possible. The show implies that uh, they've left Earth. This all takes place in space because of smog and pollution and extreme weather. Well, we're not there yet, but... You know, we may be headed in that direction. So, you know, when, when you laugh about what the projections of the future are going to be, like, say, from now, if we look back 60 years and look at the Jetsons, yes, it was a cartoon, but a lot of what they looked at isn't really far-fetched compared to today. And uh, and when you think of the Jetsons, of course, you you, you think of that theme song from uh, from the start of the show in 1962. <laughs> Pretty pretty amazing and uh you know my daughter watched the show and uh and and she's now in her 30s um so it 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 did hold up and it's and it still stands up as as entertainment whether it stands up as as what the future is actually was or is going to be uh you could argue that but there's a lot of things in there that actually have happened and I've, i've talked about this before went to the 1964 world's fair And there was a display in the telephone display that you could actually see the other person while you were talking to him. It was just a still picture. There wasn't video. 
And I thought over the years, as time went on, well, why haven't they developed this? You know, because you get to see grandma when you talk to her on the phone. Well, there really wasn't the demand for it. And eventually, you know, FaceTime came along. But, you know, smartphones didn't really become mainstream until maybe 10 years ago, 10, 11 years ago. Something. I think the first, the first smartphone was invented by Apple. The first Apple phone was invented, I think, in 2007. So that's uh, 16 years and uh, it did take a long time for it to happen. So a lot of fun stuff. Uh, there was a, a nice story about it in the New York Post yesterday.